you were there on that day because <laughs> it works. There's proof right there, so <laughs> sign up for your class. All right, over to Laura. Well, it's Wellness Wednesday, and we're talking about back pain or lack thereof. You might not have any back pain just yet, and you want to make sure that you keep it that way. And here to help us out from Southeastern Spine Institute is Dr. Ellen Rain. Dr. Ellen, how are you? Great. It's fantastic to have you here because for people that don't have back pain, they want to make sure that they keep it that way. So you're giving us preventative measures, especially as women who like to wear shoes like these. And Dr. Ellen was very smart and she did not wear shoes like these. No wonder we have back issues. No wonder we do though. I mean, you're giving us some good information. So give us some proactive tips. Right, so you know, not having back pain, how can we how can we prevent it from happening? Mm -hmm. So you're right, I mean, high heels do predispose to, you know, change of the alignment and even possibly falls, which could definitely start up some back pain even if you're not having it currently. So if you can't do away with the he high heels completely, maybe consider wearing them just on certain occasions mm -hmm. or even perhaps lowering the heel a bit. And right. those things could make a big difference. But if you're somebody who's already having a little bit of back pain and you love to run around all day in really high heels, you might want to consider making an adjustment. Because here's the thing, it feels like the heels are getting taller and taller and taller with each season. Yeah. So maybe <laughs> just keeping the five inch and the four inch heels at home might help us a little bit, right? Yeah, or you know, saving those for, I think some of my friends call those uh, uh, limo shoes where you just get in and out of the car in That's them really and don't run idea. around in them. <laughs> okay, so we'll be sure to do that. Okay, so for maybe for the guys out there who aren't wearing high heels, what can they be doing? To okay, stay great. Um, so some things that we should think about, especially men, I think are guilty of this a lot, um, heavy lifting or improperly lifting items. Mm -hmm. um, so if you've got something heavy that you're going to lift, um, try to think about it first. Is there a someone else around or maybe another person or two around who can help you lift it. Can you think of a smarter way to lift it instead of just turning around really quick all by yourself and lifting it mm -hmm. um, really perhaps carelessly. So lift it slow, lift cautiously, try to think about smarter ways to lift and try to ask someone to help. I know that you know heavy lifting is not something that can be completely eliminated from people's lives, but if you're prone to back pain and you're lifting heavy objects, the main problem with that is that you know, lifting something really heavy all of a sudden can cause you to have a ruptured disc. Okay, um, and so that can be extremely painful. But there's truth to that with a lot of different things, Dr. Ellen. I know some women that pick up their children the wrong way. You oh, know, definitely. You, just, you don't think about it and you just try to get them and try to do what you got to do and oh, get yeah. on your way. And oh, that yeah. can mess up your back as well. It doesn't have to be something as heavy as this. Oh, it's so true. I mean, I hear a lot of women saying, you know, well, it was when my child got to be two or three years old, yeah. you know, and that really can make a big difference. So, All right. you know, cool. it's lifestyle. But um, some other things that we can think about in terms of preventing back pain would be eating a healthy diet, um, taking um, calcium and vitamin D supplements. Um, women, especially when we get older, are more prone uh, to vertebral fractures, mm -hmm. and so, uh, which is often caused by osteoporosis. So mm -hmm. preventing that can also be something that could help keep back back pain at bay. <laughs> yeah, and I, I never had this issue, but a lot of women do don't like milk. So you're already kind of fighting against yourself when you're not right. drinking that calcium, and you're not getting that vitamin D as you were just saying. So if we can just make sure that we get those supplements in, that might help us out. Absolutely. Wonderful. Absolutely. Well, she's Dr. Ellen Raymond. You can find her over at Chuck Dolly Boulevard. Is that where you all are still located? Exactly. Until you be get into your new house where yes. you get under one roof over in the same area. So mm -hmm. Dr. Ellen, thank you so very much for being with us today. We really do appreciate it. 866 Spine 50. Make your appointment today. Dr. Ellen, we appreciate it. That's great. Right, well, we're back with more Low Country Live coming up right after the break. Stay with us. We are wicked pumped for the first full week of summer. June 25th to the 29th, Low Country Live is headed outside. That means all week long we'll be live on location. We're talking beaches, boating, grilling, kayaking, food, and more. We'll tune in at 10 all week. Bring your shades and your hats, and you'll be part of the fun.